Samsung has always stayed true in their ideas about what a premium foldable smartphone should look like, and the Z Fold 4 conforms on that front. This device functions as both phone and a tablet, providing a larger screen for watching videos or playing games while shrinking down for all other purposes. This 2022 model also focuses on much-needed camera upgrades and adding some subtle physical revision. This gorgeous device is available for purchase at $1799. Now, the cost might seem a little high, but is it really worth it? Find out in today's video as we review this new flagship device. Hello and welcome to Tech Kaiju. Here we discuss the latest tech gadgets and inventions. Make sure to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to click on the notification bell. Also, please give this video a big thumbs up and if you ever have any concerns, questions or opinions about the video, don't be shy, just leave a comment down below. Now let's get into the video. Design Samsung's design aesthetic was set with the Z Fold 2 and hasn't changed in the following two models. The Fold 3 was physically identical to the Fold 2, however the Fold 4 slims things down and somewhat squares off the sides. At 263 grams, Samsung has succeeded in making the phone lighter than its predecessor, which weighed 271 grams. The Z Fold 4 also measures a little narrower 6.3mm when unfolded and 15.8mm when folded, compared to the Fold 3, which measured 6.4mm when unfolded and 16mm when folded. A new hinge design that is 6mm smaller and significantly slimmer when folded is largely responsible for this reduction in size. Compared to last year, this new hinge is simpler to fold and unfold, but it also seems tighter than the hinge on the Fold 3. As a result, using the cover screen with one hand is much more comfortable and the main screen is more captivating. The 6.2-inch cover screen's frame and bezels have been reduced, resulting in a display that is around 3mm wider than previously. Additionally, it appears as though Samsung used a knife sharpener to refine its design because the hinge is a little bit flatter and thinner and the edges of the entire phone are a little bit sharper. It's the same story inside where the plastic bezels around the 7.6 inch flexible OLED display have also been reduced. Even though the phone is slightly wider than before, there is a subtle impact that makes everything look sleeker and more toned down. Once more, Samsung's armor aluminium covering covers the Z Fold 4's frame and housing. Additionally, Corning's Gorilla Glass Victus Plus, which shields the exterior display and rear glass from scuffs and other marks, and a new hinge system have enhanced overall durability. The Fold 4 also has IPX8 Water resistant, the same as the Fold 3, which means it can survive up to 1.5 meters in water, but it's not rated against dust. The Fold 4 lacks any form of S Pen pouch, however, Samsung now produces a better note style case with an S Pen holster at the back. Furthermore, some case manufacturers produce cases with S Pen holsters integrated into the spine, the back, or even the right side. The Samsung Galaxy Z4 Fold are available in three color options, Phantom Black, Beige and Grey Green. However, you can visit Samsung.com to order a unique burgundy shade. Display The Galaxy Z Fold 4's two AMOLED screens have also seen a modest improvement this year. Despite having the same technical specifications as last year, each one has undergone slight upgrades to become better. When you open up the phone, you see the same tablet-like 7.0-inch display and an under-display camera UDC. Despite the screen size remaining at 7.6 inches and the overall footprint nearly remaining the same, the main display is now 3mm wider because of the smaller hinge and the subtle modifications to the measurements. This resulted in a change in aspect ratio from 25 to 9 to 21.6 to 18, which is intended to lessen letterboxing. The cover screen has also been improved. It is 2.8mm broader and 0.1mm shorter than the Galaxy Z Fold 3, making it much more pleasant to use one-handedly. The aspect ratio has also changed to 23.1 is to 9, though letterboxing is less of an issue on the cover screen. The crease is not an issue on the main screen, and both displays have a little brighter and more colorful appearance. Samsung claims that both the 6.2-inch cover panel and the 7.6-inch main screen can reach peak brightness levels of 1000 nits and have a 120Hz adaptive refresh rate. Camera, Video and Audio the main distinction between the Fold 4 and 1 from the previous year is its camera. This gadget has a 50 megapixel main camera with a 23% brighter sensor, which ought to provide better looking interior pictures. 
Additional features include a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera and a 10 megapixel telephoto lens with 3x optical and 30x space zoom. The phone's right side of the 7.6 inch display sports a meager 4 megapixel sensor, and the front of the device houses a 10 megapixel selfie camera. The new model mostly replaces the relatively outdated hardware that was used in the Z Fold 3's camera arrangement. Although the Fold 4 has the same wide, ultra-wide and telephoto configuration on paper, the telephoto end has more reach and a larger sensor, while the ultra-wide is unchanged. Although there are some minor details in the autofocusing area, it's still not a cutting-edge setup and is essentially identical to the one on the Galaxy S22+. Plus. You may also make use of nitography features for excellent pictures in low light, just like the Galaxy S22. Additionally, while on flex mode, you may take pictures while holding the phone in your hands or use the rear camera selfie mode to take better selfies while using the cover display as a preview. There are numerous video recording choices available, even in 8K 60fps, but that is only relevant if you have a high quality 8K TV to view it on. Slow motion recording is also available and the 4K video looks absolutely fantastic. In addition, the set of Dolby Atmos tuned stereo speakers in this phone is genuinely exceptional, providing loud, well-balanced and immersive sounds. Performance and specs Although the Fold 3 may not have seemed slow, the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 processor and 12 MB of RAM in the Fold 4 makes it feel a lot faster than before. The latest Android 12L operating system is built inside the Galaxy Z Fold 4. Large screen devices such as foldable phones are specifically catered for by this version of Android. The Galaxy Z Fold 4's flex mode, which flips the screen in half, has also been upgraded and now places app content at the top and controls at the bottom. A taskbar in the desktop design is one of the most noticeable additions. Compared to the standard Android dock, this one is located at the bottom of the screen and shows more apps. With this, you can open numerous apps simultaneously without returning to the home screen by pulling up the taskbar while you're in another program. Although this concept isn't really original and feels very similar to the configuration on iPad OS, it really makes a difference during this. Battery and charging The Z Fold 4 has quick wired and wireless charging as well as a 4400 mAh battery, which is the same battery as in the Z Fold 3. Probably because of the more effective chipset hidden inside, the battery life is a little bit better than we saw in the Z Fold 3. Samsung's phones have never emphasized fast charging as a primary feature, and this is unchanged in this case. The Z Fold 4 can recharge from 0 to 50% in 30 minutes using a connector that can handle its maximum 25 watt capacity. It takes another 60 minutes for a full charge though. Using the back of the phone, you can charge your Galaxy Buds Pro 2 or Galaxy Watch 5 using this foldable rapid wireless power share features. How much does the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4 cost? The starting price for the Galaxy Z Fold 4 is relatively high at $1799 for 256GB of storage. The price for 512GB is $1919, while the 1TB model is an outrageous $2159. For the best deals and savings, be sure to visit the Galaxy Z Fold 4 website. For instance, trade-ins from Samsung and AT&T can result in savings of up to $1,000. With the new line, you can also receive discounts of up to $800 from Verizon and $1,000 from T-Mobile. With the Z Fold 4, you truly do get a unique device if you're prepared to spend the money. It has a futuristic feel and significantly improves what you might anticipate from a smartphone. Although it is far from flawless, this is the best folding phone in the market. Would you buy one for yourself? Please let us know in the comments below.